I'll see you in another life. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to some random Gen 7 Pokemon battles. I'm excited to be here. You see they've got a, a new Pokemon, Drampa, which is a normal and dragon type. I had to do my homework, that's kind of why it took me so long to uh, get this back into the rotation. But I'm super excited to be here. Um, he paralyzes my Wormadam Steel, and I didn't realize that that thing had Fire Blast. I thought I was going to go for a dragon move and I would resist, but uh, not the case at all. So I send out the Choice Bandit Slay King and hit it with the Retaliate. Boom, that thing goes down. I did get a crit, but I don't think it matters because Slay King's attack is fucking massive. And uh, yeah, the Choice Band. And also, its power is doubled if uh, an, an allied Pokemon fainted in the turn before. So he sends out the Dark right now. I'll go ahead and go with the Quill Fish, which has a uh, Thunder Wave. I think that's going to be quite helpful against this thing. And uh, he goes for the Nasty Plot, which is just fine. He does it again, getting a little bit greedy there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop a sweep preemptively with that Thunder Wave that I was talking about now. This Quill Fish does have uh, Intimidate. It is more of a defensive variant. I really like the, the different movesets that they give you in the uh, random battles. You can basically get any sort of Pokemon, so you don't know, uh, even before you send it out, what, uh, its, its EVs are gonna be or anything like that. Do they have EVs in random battles? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> but, uh, I'll finish that Darkrai off with a Retaliate again from the Slay King. Oh yes, he's fucking doing work out here. I'll tell you that much right now. And, uh, he's got an Espeon, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the Slay King back out and uh, send in my Starmie, which should resist a Psychic-type attack, if that's what he decides to go for. I know Espeon probably does have Shadow Ball as well. He goes for Calm Mind, which will boost his uh, special defense and special attack, but I'll just fish for the burn right now with a couple of Scalds, and hopefully, hopefully Starmie could live. Yes, he lives from a plus one Shadow Ball, which is really fucking impressive for a Pokemon that is uh, this fast and offensive. Got a critical hit there, which uh, is a pretty nice thing, but unfortunately he's going to take down the Starmie with a Dazzling Gleam. Uh, he does have Life Orb, so whatever attack he does next is going to make him faint. So uh, I think the thing to do would be to go to Pursuibat, which uh, is faster than the Espeon, and before he can even make that attack, I'll just take him down. If I had something with a setup move, then I probably would have brought that in and let him faint himself, but uh, since I can take him down, I will take him down. He brings in the Caracosta now, lovely Gen 5 Pokemon, been given Shuttle Smash, so uh, I know that's what he's gonna do, and uh, just go ahead and go for the Psychic. I know I'm probably not gonna take this thing down all the way, he's gonna hit me with a Stone Edge or something mean like that, but that's just fine. Oh, he goes for Waterfall, maybe he doesn't have Stone Edge, well, that's fortunate for me, so uh, Swoobat's gonna live and I can take him down with the Psychic, even, even though he hits the Aqua Jet. I wonder what his fourth move is. Must be Earthquake or something like that. I would have swapped out Aqua Jet for Stone Edge if I was building that Caracosta. Because if you've got the uh, the plus speed boost, you don't really need Aqua Jet. You need more speed? Go ahead and Shell Smash again. Anyways, he brings in the Shaman now, which is uh, the Sky Form, and it's able to finish off my Swoobat with an Air Slash. That thing is a bit faster than I thought. Um, Swoobat is a really, really fast Pokemon, but Shaman is legendary, so I guess I should have expected that. Here's the Slay King again. Guess what? Retaliate. But no. I, uh, get my flinch hacks going here. Which really fucking sucks. I, uh, I don't know if this thing has Serene Grace. I think that probably is one of its ability. Especially because, uh, I get flinched again here. Oh no. I'm truant. I probably would have gotten flinched again. It doesn't matter. Slay King goes down. I've got one Pokemon left against his two, and, uh, it's not looking too good for the Dayton does at the moment, but... I never lose hope, alright? We can bring it back around. So, here comes the Muck. He's fucking awesome. He's gonna live through that Earth Power because of his massive, massive special defense. Just naturally. And then, uh, this Muck also has Curse. So, uh, specially defensive EV spread would fit that quite nicely. Because you have moves that will boost your, uh, attack and your defense. Regular S defense. <laughs> so he brings in the Beautifly as his last Pokemon. Which is just fine. He goes for the Quiver Dance. I'm gonna go ahead and curse right now. And uh, if that thing has Psychic, I am fucked. If it has Bug Buzz or Giga Drain, I think I'll be okay. Air Cutter. Mmm. Just barely lived that. And uh, I'm able to take that thing down with an Ice Punch. Which is fucking awesome. Double KO. 
and uh, I net the win because life orb damage is what knocked me out. So, join us in the next battle. I'll see you there. Alright, so Wonderwall Star was taken down, and now we've got a battle against Dark Menthol. And uh, he's got a Masquerade out first against my Altaria. He decides to switch, and I decide to switch on the same turn. I guess we're both scared of each other or something like that. Really, I just want to save my Altaria for later. He brings in a Muck, and I bring in my Chinchino, which is uh, definitely one of my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon. Something I caught pretty early on. Um, I should buy Gen 7, but I, hmm, I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. I'd like to record that for the channel, but we will see what happens with it in the future. He goes for the curse, but uh, against my Chinchino with Skill Link, five same type attack bonus tail slaps in a row, he's not going to live, especially since my Chinchino has a choice band attached. So in comes the Farfetch'd. That thing is going to get smacked the fuck up. I don't think he knows that I have the skill link on this Pokemon, uh, but yeah, that Farfetch'd is basically bagged, so I've got two of his Pokemon down really, really early in the battle, and uh, he brings in a Superior now, which I'm not really too scared of, but I do miss my Tail Slap, which is going to end up mattering, because he comes with the Leaf Storm, and with his Contrary ability, it's going to raise his special attack instead of dropping it, which is really, really fucked up. Um, so I'll do what damage I can with the Tail Slap since Chinchino is slightly faster, but I know he's going to go down to the second Leaf Storm on this turn. Ah, rest in peace, little friend. I'll see you in another life. Well, I don't know what to do against a uh, fucking three times special attack superior. Send in the Latius now because I know Dragon type moves are going to resist the plant type attacks. He goes for Substitute, which is interesting, especially at such a, a low HP level. And uh, he does that as I go for Draco Meteor, which is going to drop my special attack. So maybe it was a good move. Um, however, I'm still going to have enough gas on this next turn to knock out a superior at fucking 10% HP. And I'm not going for uh, Draco Meteor again. I'm going to go for the Psy Shock. Yes, lovely, lovely Psy Shock. And even with the special attack drop, it is enough to take it down. Thank God. So half his team is gone. Only uh, one and a half Pokemon of mine are gone. And it's looking like a pretty good battle. The Masquerade comes back in, and I'm predicting the Bug Buzz or something like that. So I go back into the Altaria, who will resist it completely. And uh, he ends up going for Air Slash, which is fine, because Altaria has a uh, massive, massive special defense. And uh, now he's bringing in a Quagsire, which I'm not sure. Maybe this thing has Ice Beam or something like that. But um, I Mega Evolve my Altaria now into the... Oh, he's trying to avoid the Fire Blast. How do you know I had Fire Blast? Well, whatever. <laughs> Even if this thing hits me with Ice Beam, it's not going to matter because now, I, instead of Dragon Flying, I am Dragon and Fairy. Uh, but I'm still relatively scared. Switch out into the Latias to uh, sort of sack it. It can absorb the Ice Beam, but it's not going to get probably more than one attack unless I can knock it out with Draco Meteor right now. Which, uh, considering Quagsire's relatively low special defense, could be an option. And yeah, at 60%, not a problem. But boom Latius takes it down. And, um, yeah, Quagsire's a bro Pokemon too. <laughs> Sad to see him go. I wish he would have been on my team. And now a Fion, which is, um, the baby form of Manaphy. And it does get the hydration ability, so it's gonna be able to heal any status that I do to it when the rain is up. Uh, I believe it also has rest so it can go to sleep and heal itself instantly. But luckily my Latias has Roost, so I go for that right now as, he's, as he starts fishing for the burn with the Scald. I don't think that's going to matter too much as this Latias is a special attacker, but still, I would like to switch in my Doug Trio now and uh, see if I can trap this thing. And no, it goes right for the U-turn. That's fine. I think I can hit this... Uh, this Masquerade with a Stone Edge or something like that. The Trio did get a new sort of form in Generation... Oh my god, Stone Mist. <laughs> in Generation 7. So it has a, a ground and steel typing, which is really, really cool. But this is the regular-ass Doug Trio. He got no hair. That's how you can tell. The new Doug Trio has, like, fucking 80s rocker look to him. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but I like it a lot. So he Quiver Dances and passes that to the Fion, which is probably a pretty good move. I'm gonna get fucked up here by the Scald, and uh, that Stone Age was able to do 
just about nothing. <laughs> Doug Trio served little to no purpose in this fight. I got a Mamoswine now. Um, it's probably not going to be great either, simply because he's also ground type. But um, yeah, I don't want to send my dragons in here to get fucked up. I want to save them for the end of the fight to make sure that I can get up and over. And with this thing's hydration ability, it's really going to be a pain in the ass. I'm super sure of that. So try and do a little bit with my Mamoswine, but nope, that Scald is nasty, especially with the rain up. Uh, but the rain is going to go away this turn, so that is fortunate. He'll have to waste a turn getting it back up, and maybe Excadrill can do something with that. You can see half of my team was ground types, so this uh, Fion is really fucking doing some work. I'm glad he didn't uh, send it out first, so we could have a nice close match. Luckily, with the rain down, I'm able to knock that thing out with an earthquake, and uh, Excadrill ain't scared of no masquerade. Because, uh, yeah, no, no Bug Buzz, no Giga Drain, no Air Slash is going to really affect it. I don't think he's going to get knocked out from 46% HP. So I smash it with a Rock Slide. He goes for Quiver Dance, but yeah, Air Slash is not going to do much. And one more Rock Slide should finish that battle. So friends, this has been Pokemon Gen 7 Random Battles. I hope you'll join us again for the next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you do, remember to like, comment, and to subscribe. I'll send you a set of portable speakers, because I think you would really appreciate that. You can listen to me on the go. You can listen to me on the go anyways, if you have a cell phone, or whatever. <laughs> anyways, I appreciate any way you listen to me, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye! One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.